hello guys hello you are welcome to my youtube channel my name is kate alexi how are you guys doing today hope you guys are doing good out there mm -hmm. it's sunday sunday is sunday all right so today i am going to be talking about a topic that you guys sometimes <laughs> do i say sometimes many people don't want to hear this so people still want to hear it but all the same after this topic you're going to leave a comment on the comment section box and let me know what you think it's having a joint account a good idea yeah? i don't know but for me i have something to tell you if it's a good idea or not a good idea if you think it's a good idea please leave a, a comment for me and let other people share and learn from your own point of view now um i was um, asking someone the other time about a joint account if joint account is a good idea the, the person told me it's a very good idea because she has a joint account with her partner. And since then, they'll be good together. Uh, it helped her to spend less that she used to spend a lot. But since uh, she joined an account with uh, her partner, she been spending good. She doesn't spend too much anymore because her partner we always caution her and told her like a oh, girl you spend it too much money not that the, the partner is angry the partner just want her to mind her expenses to mind her her spending so i said okay for me i have uh, done a, a joint account we saw one in the past which is my ex-husband my own um joint account was okay it was okay it wasn't bad but um for me i think when i was having a joint account with my partner at that time was that i was i became a mumu you know what they call mumu in nigeria foo foo they said when two friends um good together one has to play a fool if you don't cannot play a fool and the two are like a lions they can't work the relationship cannot work they can't you know be friends they can't be forever friends so for that friendship to last one has to come down for another that was the aspect of the joint account i had with my ex-husband at that time actually when i came to canada um uh, I, I, I never planned on having a joint account, but I only know about having an account. So when I came in here, I came with $350. My ex-husband took me to the bank and asked me if I wanted to open a joint account or a separate account. I said, whichever way he wants, I can do it. He said, no, you have, you have a choice. He didn't fox me. It's not he didn't force me to do it he just asked me then i said oh um, for him to ask that question and you know we african we always use our upper when somebody asks you did you want a joint account or a separate account it means the person wants you to have a, a joint account so i just said okay it doesn't matter your money is my money my money is yours so i put the 350 into the his own account because he is the primary uh, uh owner of the account so i put my money there so we're using the the account um at that time from january till february march april may i wasn't working to be honest he was the one taking care of me um he gave me a, the, the bank gave me card credit card and debit card which i was using but i was scared mm -hmm. anytime i went shopping for myself for clothing 
he was always with me because he drives me everywhere I go because I wasn't driving that time. If I want to buy something, the store, uh, I was always scared because I felt like, oh, he's the only one working and we don't have enough money in the account. And he's, you know, maybe he might not like the idea of me buying too much. If I love something and I touched it, he would say, buy it. I would say, no, no, no. He's too expensive. He would say, buy it. I would buy. He never restricted me from buying. I, I don't want to, I, I can't lie to him, against him. So I would say, no, this is too much. I would say, buy, I would just buy it. So, but I was using my own upper. <laughs> so I don't want to buy. I would just say, no, 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 I don't want it. I would just go. Even that time, I can't even go to store and say, let me go and buy. I don't even know where they sell clothes. For one year, two years, three years, I was doing mumu. I don't even know the password to the account. The online banking is the only one that had, that had access. To online banking I don't even know the password I don't even know how they transfer money from your debit card and your debit account um, uh, this is a checking account to your this is a master card I didn't know I didn't know how to do anything to check the account mm -mm. because he never taught me how to do it he never and I never requested for it because I wasn't interested because the trust was there, I trusted him. I said, why, why am I checking the account for? He's my husband, my money is his money, so we do everything together. After all, it, that time when I started working, I was still in, I was making money that time. I could remember 2013 from July to this time. I was making money. Yeah, my salary was also good. No, he earned more than me. We were just doing things together. There was no complaint. He sent money back home to his people. I sent to mine. Things were really going well. Even he was training um, his uh, nephews too in school. Even there was a time he didn't want to pay the money. I said, no, give them money. Let them pay their school fees. It's okay. He built a house for his mom. It was my idea. I said, let's use our money in the account. Let's use it to build a house for your mom. It's okay because I don't want your mom living in the... Um, in a, a, a house that has no uh, roof because the roof was leaking I said take your mom out of that place you are here in Canada you are enjoying why can't you go why would your mom be suffering in the village without a house so that was how we took money from the joint account we built for the mom before we built uh, the one the one we are building before uh, things went wrong or how do I say so um for that I would say for me, a joint account is a no-no. If I happen to go into any other relationship, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do a joint account. Whoever is hearing me, if you are interested in me right now, I don't know where you are, but if God says, okay, um, Kate is going to be married again, please, I'm sorry, don't be offended. Joint account is a no-no for me because... There was a time this joint account was becoming a toxic one for me. That was when I, that was the, the word I used that mumu, I played mumu. You know, um, there are a lot of things I don't want to say because I'm online. I don't want to be saying things that will bring the conflict and the uh, disagreement after this topic. So uh, I regretted having a joint account with my partner at that time. That time when I was with him, I didn't regret it because I didn't know what I was doing. Things were just flowing like water. I was just playing that mumu lady or mumu girl. Until when I started living on my own and I opened my account and I was like, wow. Because you can't have an account you don't have access to. You don't have that money, that, how money is coming out from that account, how much is coming out from that account monthly, you don't know, you don't. You only know the one you spend. You go to grocery store, <laughs> you spend money. Even that I wasn't buying clothes, I don't buy clothes that time. Sometimes my partner will ask me, you go and buy clothes. You will see something in the store you don't want to buy. You call home like that, you say that thing was on sale. And by the time you now go again, they will say, 
oh, if they have bought it, you'll not be regretting it. It's not that I didn't want it to buy it, but I was kind of looking out for the money that if I use this money to buy now, maybe our money will be gone from the account, maybe we reduce the the amount we have in the account, uh, we do not reduce uh, reduce to or resolve to overspend it. That was the way the way I would put it overspending. But um <laughs> though something happened. Um there was a time uh my partner called me and said uh, uh he was he opened a savings account. He opened another account, a savings account. He opened that account in his name. That time, I didn't have my own account that has only my name. It was only the one he opened in his name. He opened two in his name. Two accounts. One was a joint account and one a savings account. So when he started acting funny, then one day he called me and said, the money we had in the savings account that... Uh, that we should share the money. I said, money? How? The account, the savings account is not even myself, but he opened it uh, because of us, so that we'll be taking money from the joint account and we're putting it in the savings account. And he gave $2,000 from the money. I didn't even know how much it was in the joint account. I only know there was a day he called me and told me we had $12,000 in the account. The letter gave me uh, $2,000 and he said uh, uh, he kept $500 for my mom, though he, give, he didn't give her uh, everything. And uh, I didn't argue, but, but I knew or I suspected that the money in the joint account was $12,000. And I looked at which, the money I've been making. Where did the money go? Even the, the joint account, there was no money there, like according to him. Then I started asking myself, the money we have been making, where did the money go? So I didn't question him. I didn't say anything. I said to myself, I did it out of love. Exactly. I did it out of love. People might be thinking, oh, why are you saying this now? I'm just saying to encourage somebody out there. If you want to have a joint account with your partner, it's not a bad idea. You can have an account with your partner, but you have to be sensitive about it. I know having a joint account brings trust between couple. It helps you to manage the account. You, it's very accessible. Like if you go anywhere, you can just go and buy anything, use the money the way you like. If one partner is working and the other one doesn't have a job, you can still have access to the account. You can pay bills without any division, without any conflict, without any quarry, without sharing of bills. Like who is going to pay for water, who is going to pay for light, who is going to pay for the house rent. If you have a mortgage, nobody is going to complain about, like I pay, I pay more than you. No, there will be no division. There'll be nothing like that. So the money that you guys are, are saving the account is for both of you. It's for the fund of the fund of the house or whatever that you guys want to use the money for. So yes. So that in that case is good to have a, a joint account. If both of you come in a, uh, in agreement and uh, you guys have the same voice, so it's good. You have, if you if you speak the same voice and uh, whatever uh, you guys want to withdraw money, there is no settlement. Yeah, when I say settlement, some some uh, people they have a large family. Maybe you are from a large family and uh, your partner uh, does not have a has a small family. Yes, maybe your partner has a small family and your family is always demanding for money, and you are going to take from that account. The other one who has a small family may not be may not be happy. My thing, the other one is spending too much on the on his people or his or her people. That is another thing that I will say. Um, a joint account is uh, not good. But if you guys are 
uh, speaking one voice is good. It's good. But for me, it's a no no. It's a no no. I will not have a joint account anymore with anybody. If I thought I want to have a, a joint account, I have to access that account too. I have it to have a password to that account. I cannot be uh, operating an account that I don't have a password to, and I don't have. I don't know how much I'm. Uh, I am putting into that account. Just like that time when I was with my ex-husband, even my salary. Sometimes I don't even know when they pay. I only receive that pay. Uh, uh, what is it? Called? Pay slips. That's the only thing I was receiving that time. He would be the one to tell me, oh, they paid you already. Your money came. This is the money. The one they added to your salary. He will only tell me. I can't see it. He will only use money to tell me. So, it's it's out of love. Whatever you are doing with your partner, you are doing it out of love. Because the Bible says, when a man leaves his father, his mother, and join together with his partner or his wife, they have become one. If a woman is married, the man has become you. It has become yourself. Just like Adam and Eve, they were together, they were always together. We never heard it that Adam and Eve separated. They were never married again or they got divorced. No. They were always doing things together. I know there are a lot of couples uh, still who maintain joint account. They are still going very well. They are good. They are doing well. Another, why, another reason why I don't encourage a joint account is that one partner might decide to go and have an affair outside and be spending that money on another woman. Mm -hmm. He go and be spending money, take money and be buying things for the lady outside. Why the ones uh, uh, putting money into the account? A woman can also do the same. A woman might be also be having an affair outside and be spending money on her boyfriend outside. But it's most commonly, it's most mostly common among the men yes among some male not all male uh, some some men are very decent when it comes to marriage and uh, joint account whatever so those uh ogolo one you know when i mean ogolo those ogolo ones that are very very sharp sharp those ones hmm, they they will even lavish the money they will be taking the money from the account why you now, like as I said, like I was doing like mumu, happy mumu. Then, the happy mumu now doesn't know how to check the account. Does not check the account. Why the other partner is spending that money on another woman. Or even the family. One will be spending on the family. Because the, that, the other one will be taking advantage of the other person. Because the, the other one knows that that one, that one, a mumu, no, he doesn't check account. She does not check. This one, not, he knows how to check account. <laughs> she can't check. Even if I, I took all the money, she wouldn't even find out. He wouldn't even find out. That's the cheating. Then, another reason why it's also good to have a joint account, because I'm just mixing the whole thing. Is good though on one side though why is still good if one uh, partner passed away the other one will be able to you know claim the money in the account the family of the of the dead or the the dead person or the disease cannot come and say this is our daughter or this is our son's uh, money because the money is already in your name so you'll be able to claim it that's why it is good to have a, a joint account or maybe one partner is not around to travel the other one will be able to use the money in the account but i would say it's more independent if you have your own account or rather if you decide if you decide to have your own uh, to have a joint account and we also advise that you have your own account mm -hmm. and we advise that you have your own account separately you can have a uh, an account with your partner 
then you can have another separate account your partner can also have a um their own separate account in their name your own name then if uh you are working and you are earning salary for example your salary can be going to your own account the by the time you you go to online banking you can transfer some money maybe like you guy can come to a compromise and say okay um you will be putting one thousand dollars monthly into the joint account then maybe the other partner can also be putting one thousand or one thousand two hundred or even one thousand five hundred depends on the money you guys are in then you put in the account then whenever you want to do grocery you can use the money for the joint account if you want to do shopping for yourself maybe like clothing you want to do uh your hair uh, or that thing that has to do with your body even if it just even if it's a uh medication go to your own account you know that this one is for your own self then if it's something that that is concerning both of you i will advise that you use the joint account for example you want to build a house or you want to buy a mortgage use the money for the joint account you want to pay house rent you want to pay bills use from the joint account then as a man or a woman you want to send money back home to your family you have family back home and you want to send money go to your own individual account and send money from there to your own family that's how i see it there's no other way i don't know if i'm saying the right thing or the wrong thing this is my own opinion if you ever 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 want to have a joint account with your partner both of you should sit down and talk about it you have to talk about it and say okay this is what is going to happen i'm not saying you should uh uh what i'm what, what how do i put i'm not saying you should um maybe your partner bring the idea of you guys having a joint account and you open an, another account without letting your partner know that's what i'm trying to say i'm not saying you should not let your partner know that you want to open a separate account no it's your partner it's part of you you can ask him or her my babe i need to open another account in order to help me save it will even help you save more i tell you when you have your own separate account and you have a joint account you're going to transfer money to you're going to like oh i need to put money into this joint account maybe you wanted to buy something and that thing is very expensive you also helps you it also helps you to remember what you are going to put into the joint account to avoid conflict to avoid the story that touches the heart maybe one is going to uh, maybe you guys are going through breakup or divorce it's very very hard very messy it will mess that joint account i tell you if couple are having the joint account and they don't have a separate account it's very very messy before you go you go to a bank and be saying remove my name remove my partner's name remove this remove that i remember when my ex-husband left before he left when i started suspecting him that he was going to leave he was acting funny bringing uh trouble all the time bringing wahala of uh, you know when a man is tired of a woman he start acting up i just knew instantly i don't want to talk about the other uh indoor stuff so when i found out i advised myself nobody advised me nobody told me what to do i just said okay i called him and said i need to open an account though before then uh he he oh he was always calling me that time we say uh uh it's like you go and open your account yes he, he asked me he said you it's like you go and open your account at least so that you can be having access to the to the account i said okay then when i see when i finally finally found something <laughs> i said god if i don't open my own account i'm going to be in danger i'm going to eat sand in this canada and i said okay no 
Let me go and open a, an account. And I called him and said, I want to open an account. He said, okay, no problem. He wasn't mad about it. He wasn't angry. And uh, and I told him, I said, I want to open an account because I also want to be able to be seen the account. Because sometimes you say, uh, come and do this. So any little thing, come and do the case, uh, the case of tomorrow. And I say, why? Why are you using that? We say, ah, in case if I die. I say, don't say that you will not die. So I didn't know it was all these things he was talking about. So I went to open an account. They, the lady, they asked me, why do you want to open a separate account? I asked the lady, are you married? She said, yes. Do, do you have your own account? She said, yes, she has a, a separate account. I said, oh, good. That's why I want to have my own separate account. My partner was there, was just, uh, my ex husband was there, was looking at me. So after I opened the account, he was very bitter. His eyes was here. He was mad. I said, but when I asked him, I was going to, uh, rather when I took permission from him to open the account, he never rejected it. He never objected the idea. He he said, yes, I should do it. This is what he ever wanted. He had been saying it. So then I went to the, after we finished, we went home and uh, that time we went to Nigeria. We, I, I spent about almost four months in Nigeria and nothing was coming into my account that time until I came back and uh, things started coming. So when I, I was having when I was having my, that my account, that joint account, uh it was I was still kind of link a little bit to that account. So um that time I I was using my own money to do grocery store because they automatically removed me from the joint account but I can still access his own account because it's still like it's the primary source of that account I can still see activity uh, going on in his account he wasn't happy about it he told the, to the, the bank manager to remove uh, my name that he does not want the, uh, him he does not want to be seen he does not want me to be seen uh, whatever he's doing the, with the account or whatever. So I wasn't after his account at that time. So I would, when I do grocery, oh my God. Like, I didn't care that it was my own account, that I, the money was coming to my account. The grocery I was doing, I would call her and I ask myself, okay, how much do you have left in the account? Because I didn't want it to see like, oh, now she's not buying too much grocery. When we were having a joint account, she was buying too much. Now, now she's not buying too much. So I started buying her extra more. And we spent like $300 in one grocery. Next week, I will go again. Because he was he was paying a house rent at that time. So since he's paying house rent, paying all that bill, I will be doing a grocery. At that time, I was not even doing grocery anymore. I was doing grocery and now I realized that money you spend on grocery sometimes is even more than your house rent yes so um yeah i didn't regret it i didn't regret opening my own account i didn't regret it at all and i was like if i knew if i knew before that time maybe i wouldn't have opened a joint account a lot of things went on i don't want to say it on the, on the social media so i don't want to say it here so uh, i'm just going to encourage uh you guys if you feel you ha you want to have a joint account with your partner you have not started i'm not stopping you from having it but don't be surprised what might happen later in the future i'm not praying for anyone home to be broken i pray for everyone home to be blessed and last forever until death do you part I also want you to use your initiative, use your upper when having a joint account with your partner. Use your head when having a joint account with your partner. Your money, money in the marriage can cause a lot of problems. And I tell you, most of these marriages these days that are breaking up is, I would say 95%. It's all about money. I tell you. So, and sometimes, so partner they want to control your money mm -hmm. so especially you if you're a, 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 a woman i'll just use a woman because it's me it's what i 
Let her turn around. If a woman earns more than a man, hey, and you are you are not having a joint account, you are having your own account, and you are asking your your spouse to bring money for feeding, and your money will not. Uh, it's a problem. I bet you must bring that money. I encourage you. If you have money, help your partner. You guys, you do this together. But if you want to open an joint account, use your upper, use your sense. I'm not saying joint account is bad. I am saying for me, I wouldn't have done it. Something that I wouldn't have done. So, yes, please, if you have any question, you have anything to say, please comment on the comment section box. Don't say this thing is not relevant. I may not have presented this matter in a way that you like it. Um... Uh, Maybe I may not have used the right words. So please don't hesitate to say something. Just write something on the comment section box. If you have my number, you can also call me or send me a text message and say, okay, oh, this topic, um, maybe we we'll expand on it or this is my own opinion of it. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. Thank you for your subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and for sharing my videos. Please watch out for more videos and press the notification button. Thank you so much and God bless you. Have a good night. Bye.